Now, here's the trick. If he just lets it back up, now if he puts it back down, that same side will go down. Whoa. Stop, stop. Welcome back. This plow that you see behind me is my John Deere 202 plow. Um, I bought it about a year ago. I, I put out one video on it and then since then it's just been sitting against the fence line. But we are getting ready to plow in a couple of weeks and so I've got to get this thing hopefully ready for plowing. Step one, get this thing jacked up. Wheels up and we'll try to get the wheels off. I'm probably going to pull these coulters off as well because they're kind of in the way. And matter of fact, these coulters is one of the real reasons why I was drawn to this plow because I think these coulters for a 202 plow, I've got all four of them. And if anybody out there also has these plows, you'll know that those coulters are very, very hard to find. And so I've got four of them. And I think my 150 bucks is worth it just for those coulters. Anyway, the coulters aren't worth anything if I can't plow with it. So I really need to get it plowing. This is not gonna be good. If I can't get those bolts out, I can't get those wheels off. Oh man, guys. So I'm gonna have to come back with an air chisel. I did get this one to push out and this one to push out just a hair, but not very much. You, well, this one is pretty good. That one I just got to push out just a tiny bit, but so yeah, I'm gonna get an air chisel and see if that'll do a better job of pushing those out. In the meantime, I am going to try to take off this side. I have no reason to believe that this will be any easier, but we'll give it a go. Oh, that one's loose. Oh yeah. Look at that. These ones are all gonna come out. Okay, let's see this one comes up. There's a pin in here that goes through right here, I think. If I pound this out, then this hub should come off. Oh. 
Oh, there, I've got it. You would think that this would be easy, but it's actually pretty difficult. And it's probably boring for you guys, but I don't know. Maybe this will help one person that's out there trying to fix their plow. I hope that one person can find this video. So I went to Harbor Freight and I bought this air hammer for 20 bucks and a set of their cheap chisels for seven bucks. And check this out. So it works, it's pushing them out. I'm gonna cut this off because this is all bent up and mushroomed and I don't know if it'll even fit through this. So I'm gonna get the grinder and cut this one off and this one off. Now it doesn't look like the axle's is an axle from the other side. It is, yeah. See, it's got that big hub, and yeah. this is your bearing surface. Yeah, yeah. Huh. So, well, that's a huge hurdle on this plow. And I, this tool, best twenty dollars I've spent all year. I gotta push this on. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, it's very hard. No, oh. it slides on pretty easily. Okay. These are the. Oh, these are the tires from my old plow. I just realized that they are not the same size. This one is a 6.0 by 16, and this one is a 6.5 by 16. But you can see, I don't know if you can. They're a little bit, this one's, oh, probably an inch taller than this one. So, not the greatest, something I'll have to address. But first, before I put money into new tires that are the same size, I want to make sure that the plow works, so. We'll just put these on for now, and then if everything goes okay, then we will put new tires on it. Okay, I'm gonna have to lift this up quite a bit. Okay, fits. I got this hardware. It's been soaking in cleaner for a year. I'll just go ahead and I'll stick this in. I'll wipe this off and I'll put this all back together on this side. And then 
that other side and then we're done we can pull this thing around okay back on its own two feet that's good let's grease those hubs and then let's pull it out of here I'm back working on this plow, pulled it back into the shop. This time it's hooked up to my Model A. And I bought this hydraulic cylinder right here. I actually bought two of them. I bought this one and this green one sitting over here on the floor. They seem to be identical. Just one is green and one is black. I actually bought them from a fellow up in Montana, up near Butte. He sold me two of them for a hundred bucks a piece. Um, even though I only need one, I bought both of them because I figured if we ever buy another hydraulic lift plow, it seemed like 100 bucks for a good heavy-duty ram was a good price. Um, anyway, I've got this black one on here right now. It says it's a John Deere. Looks like it says 35, 29, 89. It's hard to make out that, that last number, but anyway, it, uh, it pins in place just fine. And now... I need to do a little bit of modifying to my power troll unit on my tractor because since I have this three-point hitch on here, you can see this bottom um, hydraulic attach point is uh, blocked by that top link. So I'm going to go buy the plumbing I need to come out here with an elbow and come up here and we'll put some more modern quick couplers on the back side of that and then buy some hoses to run back here and then hopefully we can see if this plow goes up and down here we go we got this plumbed in we've got these quick connects these are this is a universal style quick connect right here and here coming out of those back plugs so that should produce the connections that we need now we're just hooking up the hoses i bought and shortly we'll be able to test this thing out. So look at this. We just, uh, we're getting ready to put the last hydraulic hose on, hook it up, and we got one side screwed in just fine. And then look at the other side of that hydraulic hose. Look at the threads on that. That's not going to work. There's no threads even there. Okay, we've got everything hooked up. We went and robbed a hydraulic hose, this big long one, off of our disc. And now we're about ready to start up my tractor and give it a try. We do have, I was telling my dad, we have three unknowns. Unknown number one is the plow. Unknown number two is the hydraulic cylinder. And unknown number three is the pump on my tractor. The three-point hitch does work, so I would assume that that power tool unit should work just fine. But... Anyway, when we started up, um, the way that this works is there's a latch right here and a latch right here, and whichever side is latched will stay up. Whichever side is unlatched, like this one right here, when we activate this cylinder, this left side should be the side that goes down. So we're going to start it up. I think we're going to back it out out into the, the, uh, the uh, farmyard area into the dirt and the gravel. And then we'll uh, try raising it and lowering it and see how this thing works. Okay, so we failed when we were hooked up to my Model A. Um, I think we have to have a tractor that has dual acting hydraulics up and down to run this. If you know for sure, let me know if that's correct or not. But we've got this working now. So, Right now, I, what I said earlier was wrong. So since this is latched and this is unlatched, when my dad uh, actuates this cylinder, this will catch and it will let this down. There, this, this side over here will go down. And this side should pivot. This should stay here, but this should move forward. Okay, go for it. Now, here's the trick. If he just lets it back up, 
Now if he puts it back down, that same side will go down. Whoa. Stop, stop. Make it go down one more time. Stop. Now, if I want to switch sides from that side to this side, I pull this lever forward and what that does is it allows this little action right here, when I pull this forward, it lays this bar down on this cog. And when it comes back, this will cause this to spin and it will unlatch this side and relatch that side. So let's watch. I'll pull this forward. Okay, go. Nope, wrong way. Here it goes. So it's snap. Here it goes. Here it goes. So it's snap that. Now, see, unlatched now, latched. So now when he goes down, the other side should go down. See? Now if I pull this forward, same deal. Spins that, down, up, see, and while it's doing that, it's also um, switching between side to side here, but since we're not moving, it's not going to be doing anything there. Anyway, the plow works but it will not pull behind my tractor, which I'm very discouraged about. We can pull it behind the 3020. It'll pull this just fine. But we have to have dual acting hydraulics, I think. Okay, that's it for today. The plow is a success. It's working, the hydraulic cylinder seems to work, but unfortunately, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it behind one of, my, one of our letter tractors, like my A, like I wanted, so. Uh, you win some, you lose some, but we'll keep working at this. So, hey, I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you next week with another video.